Thanks very much for the, for the intro. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, very happy to be here. Of course, um, couldn't start without thanking everybody who is making this possible. It's truly you know, a pleasure and an honor to be here representing Huspy. And uh, yeah, well, let's kick it off. Wanted to focus today around how Huspy is trying to enter the Spanish market. Huspy is a company that has various different approaches to, to the prop tech space. I'm gonna be covering a bit of like a generalist view, but uh, then I'm gonna be focusing a bit more on the Spanish story. So it's only fair, well, I think it's uh, you know, quite an interesting thing that our name has come up uh, various times during the, during the conference. It's only fair for us to you know, really introduce ourselves, let you, let you know a little bit about what Huspy is. So essentially, Huspy, we're a UAE-based uh, prop tech company who started with an ethos, and the ethos is essentially how do we build tech to empower the whole ecosystem, right? We really believe that it's an ecosystem where there's a lot of different players that are adding value and are thinking, this is one of the mantras that we are repeating every day internally is everything that we build has to have a purpose to serve the players that are already existing within the ecosystem. So we first started tackling one of the slabs, if you will, one of the different phases of the whole uh, purchasing journey, which was the mortgaging part. Essentially, we launched thinking, okay, there's a lot of different actors in the mortgage space. How do we drive tech? How do we start building tech to help them? And very, very quickly, we found that we had very solid product market fit to help everybody in the space, namely agencies and namely brokers. And this product market fit really helped us scale really quickly. So, so much so that we ended up uh, acquiring one of the biggest um, real estate um, mortgage brokers in the space, which was Home Matters. They joined the family, they brought a lot of expertise, brought a lot of, brought a lot of business into the books, and essentially really uh, helped us speed up um, our growth in the country and allowed us to be market leader very quickly. This uh, number that you see here represents about what we were doing a couple months back, just um, 2 billion USD run rate in business. This is in a bit less than two years of existence, and here we're only talking about the UAE market. And so when you, when you see yourselves in this situation, uh, your market leader, you, you think you've cracked a specific space, then you start thinking about two things. First thing is, okay, you know, can I do this elsewhere? Like, can I crack the space in another country? And the second thing that we start to think about is, okay, can we, with the same principles, crack another phase of that funnel, right? Do, do, we, do we have the know-how, do we have the tech to empower other people, right? So whether you get more on the top of the transaction or you get more towards the bottom of the transaction, but essentially, that's the thinking. And so that's where we figured out, okay, let's, let's take a crack at the real, the real estate part, you know? the, the part that is not linked to the financing, which is definitely uh, another very interesting part. And so uh, we went with our company, one of our company values, which is never settle, and we started to tackle two, the two problems at the same time, launching in Spain and going into the real estate piece. Essentially in Spain, right now, um, we're helping around 50, 50 plus agencies already, and we're already around 60, 600 uh, properties listed. This comes, um, this launch in Spain comes very paired up with our Series A, and essentially what's, uh, the way we like to think about this is like, we have some of the best investors out there um, backing up our, our business vision. A couple of interesting feats about this series is uh, essentially it's one of the biggest rounds in MENA's history. 
And of course, it's the first check that Founders Fund or Fifth Wall have written in the region. So we're very, very happy about that. Essentially, what also is very interesting is that it's not just uh, our investors that are backing up the vision, but we see that the industry is also responding to what we're doing. So very, very happy to be here amongst all of these incredible um, players. But all of this couldn't be possible without the team, of course. Uh, we have a very diverse team coming from a lot of different nationalities, and more importantly, with a lot of different backgrounds. So people that have come from the prop tech space uh, have a lot of folks from, coming from Brazil. It's a very interesting market for prop tech. And um, also a lot of folks that do not come from the prop tech space, uh, like myself. Um, so we believe that this is a very interesting combination to help us crack this piece. <coughs> so okay, let's get a bit into it. Uh, you know, we, heard, we hear this word disruption a lot in different industries. I think what we're trying to aim he at here today is giving just our way, our interpretation of, what, of you know, how we think about this. And uh, yeah, the first thing when we think about disruption is that we want to be brutally honest with ourselves. And uh, this started just by asking you know, our consumers, what you see here is a view of what the people in Madrid are thinking about the real estate piece. Okay? And when we're, when we're brutally honest with ourselves, not sure if some of you have seen our, our campaign, but we essentially want to pass the message that, yeah, we think the purchasing process today is a hassle. It's complicated. Um, first thing, it's like, first thing our customers are telling us is that there's no single point of contact. So the, the way that I think about it is like when you call company XYZ, they get your data needs, oh, I pass you to another one, and this other one gets your data and your needs, and pass you to another one, it gets your data and your needs. Um, so this single point of contact, how, like, it's very much linked to qualifying the customer, fully and deeply understanding the needs, helping them with scheduling, um, guiding them all along the process. As you know, I'm not, I'm not um, telling you things that you don't know here, but it's a very important transaction in a person's life. So having a single point to help them seems to be very, very important. Then our customers still find the process of finding the best financing inefficient. And uh, this is uh, definitely a very important opportunity, especially in today's, in today's world. And uh, lastly, it's the difficulty in finding the house that suits your needs. This is going to vary between cities, even like in a, within a city in a different neighborhood. This varies a lot. What we're seeing or what we're hearing from our consumers in Madrid is, of course, in a market where there's a lot more demand than there is supply, like Madrid today. Um, finding that perfect house and being in the right moment is also difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very briefly, how we think about this is the space is so big that there's a lot of super interesting problems to tackle. So picking the right one is also important. Uh, how I personally think about this is it's a space that's slightly different to other industries in, in the sense that not everything scales all the way through when you're going from country to country. And so being sure that you're tackling the right problem with, like, that has sufficient market size but that also has sufficient scale from a country to country is very, very important. The other thing, and this is very much linked to us empowering the ecosystem, is that because of the importance of the transaction, we believe that it has to be a mix between tech and service. It has to be a mix between tech and this human touch. Uh, we don't believe that it's going to be a 100% tech, tech or digitally driven transaction from start to finish. And so we, we think about tackling problems in this way. And so we set out basically to improve things not only for the buyer, but also for the seller. And very important is this transparency and collaboration piece, which is we start to think about realities that exist in some markets far away from, from Spain that don't exist here, which is how do we get tech to get everybody to be able to collaborate more in matching supply and demand 
quickly. And I think there's a, the speed element is also tremendously important, right? It's some, it happens a lot with some properties here that you literally almost have to go in with a check uh, in your hand if you want to acquire the property. So speed is of the essence to help everybody uh, you know, make more business. Okay, so a bit of how do we do it. First, from a consumer perspective, from a consumer perspective, essentially what we're, what we're telling our consumers is we'll guide you all the way. We're gonna be here to very quickly give you service. So number one is we don't want you to be waiting. You know, we understand, once again, that speed is tremendously important in this business. So as soon as you tell us that you want to visit a house, we'll be very, very quick at getting in touch with you, confirming with you, qualifying you, and giving you more relevant properties from all of the different players in our ecosystem so that you're set up for success and our partners are set up for success, right? And then the second thing is we also want to help you through the, through the financing piece, right? We're, this, is, this is our core, and it's essentially in today's world, we're also going to help you pair that transaction with a mortgage or give you the best advice on essentially which is the best mortgage for you in your particular scenario. And last but definitely not least, those of you who have lived through it, we're gonna help you keep everything nice and tidy, everything in one space. We're gonna connect you with all of the best players in the industry, but we're gonna, we're gonna guide you. From a B2B standpoint, and mind you, this is where I take like a little step back, and it's like, remember that I told you that Huspy has various different ways of doing things, so we have the mortgage business and we have the real estate business. I'm gonna focus here a bit more on the real estate part. You could have like a whole different slide or a whole different presentation, only focus on how we're empowering that mortgage ecosystem. But uh, let's talk a bit about real estate. So I think there's one, there's one key piece on the B2B, which is how do we improve efficiency and how do we um, help our customers drive more conversion? I'm, and here I'm talking about our B2B customers, right? Essentially, we're firm believers in using tech to be very, very good at qualifying leads, understanding exactly who is the perfect match for a perfect property, for a perfect agency, in the perfect timing. And so we essentially what we're aiming here is like to reduce the number of visits that an agency needs to do to convert to a transaction, a, to make that process more efficient for them so that they know that when we're telling them, hey, this person wants to buy, they have a much higher chance of converting that, that lead. The second thing is there's value both on the B2B side and on the B2C side here, which is on the B2B side, we want to encourage speed. We want to foster um, best-in-class ops within the marketplace, which means first come, first serve. Um, whoever is the first one to bring a property to in, within the Husky ecosystem is going to be the one having the rights to you know, move that property within the, within the ecosystem. And so this also generates a much better experience for the user because essentially they're surfing through feeds that have no duplicates. Right? You're not gonna see the same property listed more than once. Third is that we want to set up our partners for success. So it means like bring your portfolio here. We're happy to invest in driving demand towards your portfolio. Right? We have a very powerful, very driven central team that specializes in driving demand towards property. We're very good at this, and we're not gonna charge our customers for that. So driving demand with driving those, um, those leads is something that's very important to us. Of course, from a B2B perspective, we hear this a lot, right? And it's the core business of the people, of the people more in the real estate part is to sign that transaction, get that transaction signed. That's what seems to be more important to them. And so what we're telling is like, yes, we're here to help you with that. So if you want, if your customer has um, any issues with the financing, no problem, send them over to us, we'll help them out, we'll help you get that transaction closed. 
and of course, as mentioned before, a uh, fully tailored team of experts to help everybody move um, towards soil gas reduction. So essentially, I think as a conclusion here, it's like all of us here in this room, I think we're here to help either end customers or B2B customers sell the perfect property and do that as fast as and as efficiently as possible. So yeah, this is how Huspy is setting out to help the B2B and the B2C ecosystem. And once again, all of our tech is built to empower all of the players and to strengthen the ecosystem. Thank you very much. David, thank you for that. <clears throat> first, some questions are coming up, we can bring them up. Okay. The first one is you've got two billion of mortgages written, where it says annual run rate of two billion. So the question is, is that commissions? Is that just value of the mortgages written? What does the two billion mean? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, of course, this is what we're talking about is GMV here. So that means this is the amount of mortgages that are being processed through HUSPI at the moment. Okay, so it's two billion mortgages. So what's the average mortgage size? The average mortgage size? Yeah. Well, this is really a uh, difficult question in terms of it, you're going to have to uh, split that in between markets, right? But most of this so is out of the Dubai market. Most of this is out of the Dubai market. Moment. So what's the average mortgage size in the Dubai market? It's a good question. We're going to have to come back to you on, on, on the Dubai one. Yeah, I can work it out. I'll, I'll ask Michael. Then. Yeah, he'll tell me. <laughs> but what we can do is, it's interesting. So roughly how many loans? I mean that, what, so these are mortgages being processed or have been processed or in process? These are all mortgages that have been, proce have been processed. So this, everything, all of that we're reporting here is in our books. It's not uh, in the funnel. Okay. So, so it's, it's too like business that is, has been done. Right. Okay, yeah. cool. Now, um, can agents publish on Husby for free, and then you only monetize the mortgage part of that, and the agents keep their commission? That's a great question. Um, so, agents can definitely publish on, Hus on Husby for free all of their properties. Right now, there's different ways in which agents can work with Husby. Okay, so if an agent only wants to take advantage of the mortgage part, they can, we have specific tech only for agents to send us their leads, right? And we'll process the mortgages for them. We'll give, all, we'll give them real-time updates on how that mortgage is going. And um, they can definitely um, use that part if they will. If they want to publish their listing, then OSP is going to also have a take rate on that listing, right? So, a, it's a different combination, but essentially, like to answer the question, if you want to publish that listing in, in Husby, Husby is going to have a take rate. How much? Normally, it's going to depend on, on, on B2B agreements, right? It's, so uh, it's a much? different... Uh, is it half? Is it a quarter? So our standard, our standard that we're going to look at is, is a 50-50 split. Um, yes. So as an agent, I come to you with my listing. You're going to... You'll attach a mortgage to it if I need it, and then you'll also help me drive traffic for closing it out. Correct. Yes. Right. Exactly. As a portal would do. And also, by the way, I think this is be, it's, it goes two sided, right? Which is like we help the agent drive, drive traffic, but we can also uh, help the agent uh, source properties, which means like our portfolio is also open to any agent. So it means like you have a lead, you don't have the property to match that lead, you can also source from us, and we'll do and we'll do the commission. At the okay, same so way. if I come with a lead to you, so it's it's just basically a clearing platform that will either give me a buyer or help get me a seller. Yeah, that's and a attach that's a mortgage. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Got yeah. that. A little bit like an MLS in some ways. Do you do uh, bridge financing? So bridging finance. Yeah, we can help with that. You can, you can do that. We can help. Right. With okay. That. There you go. That ends that question. Okay. A um, couple other things. Do you only work in Madrid and Barcelona? So in the Spanish market? Yeah. Really. So in the Spanish market, there's two realities. The first one is for the real estate, it's only based in Madrid for the moment. Of course, you know, the real estate business, there's a lot to do with density. Uh, so we want to make sure that we have the right density before we're scaling to other markets. For mortgage, uh, it's much simpler. Uh, it's, much, it's much more easy to scale. So we're servicing the whole uh, of Madrid right now. Okay. Makes sense. A couple other quick questions. How much 
uh, is tech and how much is it people involved in the verification process to ensure there are no duplicates? Ha. This is, this is a really great question. So it's, it's a mix. A, I wouldn't say that we're 100% there in terms of where we want to be with the tech play. So there's still a human element to it. We're working towards reducing all of this so that, like, once again, the human piece is more focused on where we believe that the human is driving much more value. Uh, so once again, this, what I was commenting on, this perfect mix in between um, the human touch and tech. Uh, but uh, I, will, I will say we're making good strides, but we're not 100% where we think we, we should be. Okay. One last question. Are there technical and operational efficiencies in two such different markets, such as the UAE and Spain? Short answer is yes. And this is, comes back to what I, was, uh, what I was commenting before which is thinking about those problems that do scale from market to market versus those that don't. And the, you, know, you see this a lot in, in, this, in this space, like a lot of amazing companies out there that you start asking yourself, like, why are you not tackling other markets? And it's precisely because it doesn't fully fit the reality of those other markets. So we make very conscious, very deliberate decisions uh, when, we, when we build tech. Um, to pick the tech that actually scales the most, which doesn't mean it scales 100% of the time. Fantastic. David, thank you. Thank you Great so much. Stuff. Really excellent. Thank you. Have thank a good you. one. Anyway, thanks very Bye. much. Thank you. Super